Hey, how are you doing? Today we are going to talk about a GRE quant, sorry, GMAT quant prep problem. But uh, before I get started, uh, I would like to point out that uh, in this channel at You Can Do Math, you have all kinds of math sol uh, quant prep problem solutions. So please subscribe to my channel because then you can have access to these math solutions and you can download the solutions at free of charge, okay? So why are you hesitating? Please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And now let's get started on this problem. So they have given us a set of five numbers, three, five, nine, 13, and the last number Y is unknown. If the average arithmetic mean and the median of the set of numbers shown above are equal, then what is the value of Y? And there are five options as usual. The median of a set of five numbers is the number in the third position when the numbers are arranged from lowest to the highest, which in this case is true. We are going three, then five, then nine, then 13, and then Y, which is unknown. So median is nine number in the middle, 50% number below it and 50% number above the median. So it has been told to us that mean is equal to the median. So mean is equal to nine, equal to three plus five plus nine plus 13 plus Y, which we do not know, divided by five. That is the arithmetic average. Now we will multiply five by five on both sides of the equal to sign. So five times nine is 30 plus Y divided by five multiplied by five. So five in the numerator and five in the denominator on the right hand side of the equal to sign cancel out. Okay, so we have five times nine equal to 45 is equal to 30 plus Y. Then we will subtract 30 from both sides from the left as well as the right. So 45 minus 30 is equal to y, hence y is equal to 15, and the correct option answer is D, the option D. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can always shoot me in comment and I'll get back to you with answer as soon as I can. And please subscribe to my channel. Do not hesitate anymore because then you'll have access to all the quant problems that I've solved just for you. Okay, I will see you next time with another GMAT quant problem. Okay, take care. See you next time.